Hi everybody. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the some channel and something and something as i plugins um, because some people um, are getting things wrong or um, just don't really understand uh, what is happening here or what it's for uh, and things like that. So I made a little um, yeah tutorial or um, manual um, for how to use it, what it does, and things like that. Before we start, there's a new bug fix. You recognize that because of that pink uh, text down here, bug fix number three. And some people asked me to put a version uh, number here. I don't know why they need it, but um, well, it's no problem. I put that here. That's basically the same plugin as you've seen before. Um, but if you click on something down here, it says feature not available something in master mode not present. So um, why I can't activate this function uh, yet, um, we'll see in the video um, and why it makes no sense uh, just having the sum channel um, and trying to click this thing here. So let's start with a blank piece of paper and imagine we have an input signal. Maybe this input signal comes from your tape machine or from a microphone, uh, something like that. And it goes to uh, the mixer input. And the mixer input typically is an input transformer or some kind of electronical balancing. Um, and this goes to our preamp. And the preamp is a tube or a um, transistor um, that yeah, amplifies these input signals. And this is where something happens to your uh, signal that comes in, uh, is uh, what the transformer does to your signal and what the preamp does to your signal, meaning um, total harmonic distortion things, meaning uh, adding noise, uh, things like that. And then you have uh, some more channels. And this is uh, what I call the um, input stage. So you have the input and the preamp. And from this input stage, your signal goes to the um, next units like equalizers, compressors, panning, um, volume, faders, uh, things like that. So this is what your channel is doing. Um, there are the inserts and uh, the channel processing. Um, that is what you do to the sound um, yourself uh, by um, turning knobs. And these signals then just go on one line. So they are um, just added. Uh, it's adding voltage in an analog mixer. And in software, it's just summing like uh, 3 plus 4 plus 5 minus 6, <laughs> things like that. So they are just put together to give uh, one signal um, that is uh, the sum of all these uh, channels you have here. So basically to your sound from the um, single channel, nothing happens. They are just summed up. This sum signal then goes to a summing amp, which is uh, yeah, some kind like the preamp for the single channel. And then it goes to the um, master channel uh, processing, like a master equalizer and um, maybe a volume for the master and limiter and things like that. Uh, that then goes to the output transformer um, before it leaves your desk again. And this is again where something happens to your summed signal, meaning uh, again, total harmonic distortion, uh, impulse and noise and uh, sound shaping like that. So this is your output stage. So let's start with an empty piece of paper here, which means we have an empty project. And we add, as seen in the presentation, one track. Let's go to the mixer. And for that track, we want to have an input stage. And this could be something. Leave that um, as it is and it says waiting for master um, because we have no summing stage. 
master stage. So we go to the master fader and add another something plugin. And here we tell the plugin to be the master. So we have the input stage for a channel and the summing master stage. And for the input, we have the amount of uh, what your desk would do to the signal, meaning uh, total harmonic distortion, things like that. And you can adjust the noise floor of your desk, um, what the input stage does. And over here we see the summing stage. So you have some kind of little equalizer with um, low uh, and high shelf, uh, which you can adjust in the frequency. And um, you have your, um, your summing mixer output. Um, you can send that into a limiter and uh, things like that. So um, that's basically um, your output stage. And um, you can switch on and off the output stage processing in this plugin as well as you could switch on and off the input uh, stage um, from here. And that uh, switches on and off all the input stages you added to your signals. So um, as we just saw in the uh, presentation, uh, we could add some more channels. And in the mixer, now all the channels have something uh, in their first plugin slot. And I was asked um, how to put this in this um, funny meter mode. Uh, it's just right click the plugin and show embedded UI in MCP. As you can see, I'm in the um, master plugin. And here I can choose from uh, desk one and desk two and desk three for different um, sound profiles of mixers. And as you can see, all the something channels follow what I decide to choose here. And if I turn off the um, processing for the channels, they get a bit dimmed and all the channels follow as well. And that is why we only have one plugin in master mode and all the other plugins are not in master mode. So what we build now was an input for all of our channels and the summing amp. When it comes to your channel processing, you could add any plugin you like. So if you want to have an equalizer, add an equalizer, and um, then you would have a compressor in your channel um, and things like that. So that would be your channel processing. Instead of doing so, you could delete everything you have here, leave a something master plugin open, and then you use the sum channel plugin. And the sum channel plugin has the input stage uh, just as the something input stage. So you have your desk amount and your noise profile. Um, and you can choose from different desks here because they don't follow what you decide uh, to use as your master processing. And you can put that to an interactive mode. So now it follows what something in the master says. And I have chosen desk three. Um, if I go through the desks here, you see um, that the sum channel follows. So in a way, this plugin um, is a combination of the input stage and channel processing, like we see in this red box and in this blue box. So again, an empty project. Let's add a track. And now we don't have a something plugin at all. And if I insert the sum channel and I want it to interact with something. It now says feature not available um, because there is no something in master mode. And that absolutely makes sense because um, the something integration just works when a something master is inserted. 
You can choose uh, from the desks here. So in this mode, you just use an input stage and your channel processing and not a master uh, summing amp. And when I go here and insert my something to have that master, you can then go and click something and it follows whatever you choose on the master. And if you want this particular channel to not follow, but others, then you would um, make some more channels, of course. And then uh, this particular channel should not follow. So click something again. Then you can choose whatever uh, input stage and uh, desk you want. And the other channels will follow whatever I choose here. So with uh, something deactivated, it's kind of a standalone version uh, that won't interact with the master. The idea behind this is people said, well, I want to use uh, something uh, with the interaction for all channels, but not for maybe my drum channels or my uh, vocal channels. Um, I want to have another desk for my vocal channels and drum channels. So let's say we have some more channels. And these four channels go into one uh, bus subgroup, however you want to call it. So you have your channels here <clears throat> and you decide, well, um, I don't want something integration. I want desk one uh, for that. So um, all these channels are now desk one. And in that subgroup, I don't want a channel at all because I need another summing mixer for the subgroup summing. And this is when it comes to something as I. Something as I means single instance. So it won't interact with the something master. And it is not another something master. It's just the uh, summing amp emulation but it won't interact with the other channels. So you can turn off the channel uh, mode here and use it as your something master, which would absolutely make sense in this case that it would be desk one. And again, if you don't want uh, the complete channels in your uh, maybe drum group, you can go and um, add the something um, SI here and turn off the uh, master section and just turn on the channel section. So you just have your um, input stage and copy that over to the, your um, single tracks. So now we have the input stage for the tracks. We can add inserts, whatever we like. And then we have a sub summing unit and this sub summing unit then further goes to the master. So now I've turned on all these um, MCP support um, for the plugins and as you can see on uh, channel 1 and in channel 4 we have uh, um, some channel that is interactive with the master and on channel 2 we chose desk 1 not interactive and channel 3 we chose uh, desk 2 or maybe even different we choose just to have the input stage and not the channel strip, um, which then looks a bit different here because um, you have the um, amount and noise control uh, while the sum channel just displays um, your view meter and gain reduction from the uh, compressor. And over here we have our uh, something SI units that won't interact with any of the other units. So you can just choose your desk and put that in uh, channel mode for your channels and in master mode for your um, submaster. I hope that everybody learned a bit about uh, the something plugin series. And uh, now it's time for you to have fun with the plugins. And bye bye.